morning. I am Anshul Jain, Assistant Professor in the Department of Civil Engineering, SIRD College, Bhopal. And uh, continuing to the video lecture series, we are going to discuss about yet another important construction material that is glass. So basically, we are going to discuss about the defining statements for this material, how this material is prepared, what are its basic components, then the different varieties of the glasses and the uses of glasses. So if you want to emphasize on this term glass, we can uh, define it as a brittle substance, a hard but a brittle substance, which can exist in either of the form. It can be transparent or translucent. If I talk about the difference in the transparent medium, you can clearly visualize the substance or another material which is besides the glass, then you can call it as transparent. But if you are not able to visualize clearly what kind of material or things are kept besides the glass, then we call it as a translucent glass material. Okay. So they have been formed after the super cooling of a liquid which is having a very high viscosity. Viscosity means resistance to flow, means a material which is in the molten state and unable to flow easily after its super cooling state, this liquid has been formed. So we can call it as a, a mixture of metallic silicates or borates of sodium, potassium, calcium and lead material. If we talk about the basic properties, it can be called a brittle material. It can be called a very good insulator of electricity means it can be used in places where electrical resistivity is required. It is unaffected by the effect of moisture, air, chemicals or acids. So it is very good in that case. Also, it is having a very good compressive strength if we are considering it to be used for the domestic purposes. It has all the properties that it can either absorb the light, it can transmit the light or it can reflect the light medium. The basic ingredients or the raw materials used for the manufacturing of glass have been shown to you in the form of sodium that is Na2CO3 for preparing soft glasses, potassium in the form of K2CO3 for manufacturing hard glasses, calcium in the form of limestone, chalk, lime, lead in the form of litharge or red lead for preparing flint glasses, silica is used in the form of quartz, white sand for preparing ignited flint glasses, zinc in the form of zinc oxide for preparing the shock proof glasses, borates in the form of borex or boric acid for manufacturing either the heat resistant glasses or the shock proof glasses. So these are some of the raw materials specifically used for a special type of uh, manufacturing of glasses. Also this typical glass container composition has been shown to you in the form of a pie chart. So the different percentages have been marked over here what content is having which percentage criteria. So silicon oxide is the maximum portion as an ingredient of glass that is more than 70%. Besides that other substances are shown over here in terms of percentages. So these are the glass components which you can uh, see on your screen. It contains some softeners, stabilizers which are having chemical resistance property and uh, the former material which are the basic ingredients. So all these have been shown to you in the form of a pie chart again containing different different percentages as prescribed. These are some of the manufacturing steps. We won't be discussing it in detail because this is not directly a part of uh, construction work for a civil engineer but this is an industrial process. It undergoes melting forging and shaping, annealing and finishing part. So these are the steps which have been shown to you. If you want, you can go into the details of this uh, by looking to the details of this video. Okay. Now, if I talk about the varieties of glass, these are the basic or I would say the 16 most preferred varieties of the glasses. I would like to tell you the names to you. 
soda lime which is also called the soft glass potash lime which is also called hard glass flint glass pyrex glass alumino silicate glass silica glass safety glasses optical glasses polycrystalline glasses toughened glass colored glass wired glasses fiber glass then we have photochromatic glasses which is uh, in use nowadays quite popular laminated glasses in vehicles also which we are using and insulating glasses right so we have uh, given some details of these varieties of the glasses i would take another video for explaining you the uh, important varieties like you can look here about the soft glasses they contain about 90% of the silica component calcium carbonate and so dash these are the three basic ingredients in soft glass and they are having low cost they are resistant to water but not resistant to acidic effect okay they can melt easily and hence they can be worked out in the hot molten state they are used for manufacturing of window glasses in manufacturing the electric bulbs plate plate glasses for preparing bottles jars test tubes these are some of the uses of the soft glasses in our daily life if we talk about the hard glass also called as the potash lime we have silica as the basic component calcium carbonate and potassium carbonate as another ingredients they are having high melting point they fuse with difficulty means mixing them is a difficult part although they are having very less effect to acids alkaline medium and other solvents than the ordinary glasses they are much costlier than the soda lime glass that is the soft glass and is specifically used for chemical apparatus combustion tubes glass wares and for heating operations then we have the lead glass which is also called the flint glass example has been shown to you in this image this is made up of lead oxide which is mixed with silica and potassium carbonates k2co3 they are actually a dense type of glass which is having more than 80% lead oxide and they have lower softening temperature thus they are used in table wares optical lenses and cathode ray tubes they have good electrical insulation property so they are used in windows shields for protection from the x rays where this x ray work is done the medical field next variety is called pyrex glass or the borosilicate glass they are having silica and boron with a small content of alumina and alkaline solids they are having silicon oxide borium oxide aluminum oxide potassium oxide and sodium oxide as the basic ingredients they are used in industries where pipeline works is done for uh, specifically for corrosive liquids which provides corrosion property to the substance to the pipe material they are also utilized in the superior laboratory apparatuses manufacturing of those apparatus which are used in labs they are used in kitchen wares chemical plants television tubes and electrical insulators so next variety is alumino silicate glass which contains again the same basic components but they are having exceptionally high softening temperature and therefore used for high pressure mercury discharge tubes this is a very unique application of alumino silicate glass they are also used for manufacturing of the glass tubes and certain domestic equipments so they are having this high softening temperature condition which is a unique property of this glass i hope these five important varieties have been uh, very much clear to you the definition part the composition part and the five important varieties next varieties we are going to discuss in upcoming video lecture so i hope you might have enjoyed this particular video thank you so much